appreciate you. God, I appreciate the Holy Scriptures. Lord, you said that's why we make so many bumbles and get off track because we don't know the Scriptures. That's the reason we're not setting people free because the power of God comes from the Word. We ask you, God, to stir up us preachers and, and revive us again, one of them said. In Jesus' name, thank the Lord. You may hear me read these over and over, but I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to jump back over here. But right now, I'm going to read here in the 17th of John. And I've got some scriptures back in Matthews. These words spoke Jesus, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hours come, glorify thy, uh, your Son, that thy Son also may be glorified, glorify thee. And as as thy are uh, you have given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou or you have given him. You know, Jesus, God put everything into Jesus' hand a little over 2,000 years ago. That's why he was purpose that he was born into this world from a virgin Mary, with no human blood in him, and the blood comes from the male, because God had to have a man, and the Bible said God is not a man himself, that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man, which is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God, chosen of God. And all this doctrine and all this preaching that's going all over the country, all over the world, all it's doing. is dividing up God's kingdom. The Bible said there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Do you believe it's in the Bible? Or do you tire it out of yours? I'm glad. I said, I'm glad. I'm going to keep preaching this. If you don't like it, go somewhere that tells you to you go out there and live with the devil and still go to heaven. You'll find out one day. The Bible said, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner? And then another scripture said, he that commits sin is a what? He that commits sin is all the devil. Now, what you going to do with that one? Anybody that's teaching that you can't live free from sin and putting that kind of doctrine, what they're doing, they're sending people to hell. Because the Bible plainly says, come out of the world, be separated, say the Lord, touch not, taste not, get, don't give them food around that stuff. I mean, if you live to be a hundred that can pass mighty fast. Glory. Glory. I said glory. Thank you, Jesus. These words spoke Jesus, lifted up his eyes to heaven, said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son that thy son may glorify you of thee. As you have given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou art. 
you have given him. Think about that. Weren't for Jesus Christ, you hear people preaching everywhere, but very few people spend their time lifting up Jesus. I'm run down. They talk about me bad because, oh, don't fool that terrible guy. All he does won't talk about Jesus. You know why? I'm filling in for them. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. There ain't but one name under heaven that you can call on that God hears you. There's over something between eight and nine billion people over 8 billion, almost 9 billion people in the world, and ain't but one name out of a whole bunch. He was here 2,000 years ago, and his name is Jesus, and the Bible said if you call upon any other name, God don't hear you. You can God this and God that. The Bible said that God's many. That's what he said. Ain't that in the Bible? There's God's many. There's Lord's many. So what God are you talking about? I'll tell you what God I'm talking about. The fullness. God gave Jesus all power in heaven and in earth and turned, turned it over to him and let him be born and get down here and go through this time and prove you can live free from sin. Prove you can deny yourself. Prove you can live free from sin. That you can lay aside all your weights and your evil and take up the cross and live holy and be your holy, Jesus said, as I'm holy. And he proved it. I said, hallelujah. Glory. Oh, he died an early life, but he still lived here enough to prove to me and you, you can live free from sin. He said, if anybody going to follow me, let him first take up my cross and follow me every day. Hallelujah. This ain't just a weekend stuff. This ain't a Baptist stuff. This ain't a Pentecostal stuff. This ain't a Methodist stuff. This is Jesus Christ, the fullness of the Godhead. All power in heaven and in earth is in Jesus Christ. And there's no other name you can call on that God even hears you on. God gave it all up to Jesus 2,000 years ago he gave him all power in heaven and in earth so I'm going to send you down yonder I'm going to put you in a little virgins you're going to be like a little baby I was reading his blood will save you you know the blood comes from the male but Mary had no intercourse with Joseph, never had no intercourse. She come up pregnant by the Holy Ghost. I don't care what it is, whether it's a bird or animal, it comes from the male, the blood do. So that means that Jesus don't have human blood. They but one blood can save you, cleanse you. That's Jesus. That's why he shed, that's reading, you know when they crucified him, the Bible said blood and water, when the old soldier jobbed him, blood and water ushered out of his side. But that was for me and you. The water was to wash our sins away and the blood was to cleanse us from sin. Oh, hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory. If you want to be saved, you better come through the door. And Jesus said, I'm the door. If you want to go to heaven, you better follow him. Because he said, I'm the way. If you go to if you gotta if you want to get to heaven, you gotta be somebody lives the truth. And he said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. And if you climb up any other way, you ain't gonna make it. Is that in the Bible? You're not going to enter into heaven. That's why they got a new heaven being made. The heaven that's up there now, at one time, the devil was up there. One of the angels. And he 
devil enough around to get the third of the angels trying to take over God. You say, how do you know? The Bible said so. But you know what? It didn't work. That's why we got these powers and forces out here today. The devil and a third of the angels took sides with the devil. And that's what we fight. They are trying the atmosphere. But oh, praise God. Hallelujah. We still got 2,000 Holy Ghost angels, haven't we? Thank God, and then Jesus came in there, praise God, willing, and he didn't have no human blood in him. He, he was born of a virgin, and he come in here and he give us a, a name. He come in and give us a salvation. And that, that the commandments, they, people, they kept the commandments, they didn't keep it. They had a good law, but the law didn't do it. The law didn't do it. And the prophets didn't do it. So God said, we're going to change that. So he said, Jesus, I'm going to send you down yonder and let you, but I'm going to put you in a, a wound of a, of a godly woman and you're going to be born. You're going to go through temptation. You're going to be tried as a fire. And if you make it, praise God, we're going to have a salvation and a savior. Thank God Jesus made it. He never sinned one sin. And that's the reason that name Jesus Hallelujah in our language. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His name should be called Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Get your heart right. Call on the name of Jesus. There ain't nothing else can help you but Jesus. Greater he has seen you. Thank God. Hallelujah. He's not only with you, but he got a spirit. He said, I'll put it in you, and I'll be with you. I'll abide in you, and you abide in me, and you'll ask what you will, and it'll be done. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. While back I was preaching like this and some guy jumped up and said, I don't believe in that preacher. I guess I lost my mind. I said, go to hell then. That's what I said. Well, I'll be <laughs> I had to repent a little bit. But <laughs> I said, go to hell. <laughs> Glory. I said, Glory. And if you don't want to come through the door, if you don't want Jesus to be the way, the truth, and life, then go down there. Hell ever so often enlarges itself. You notice we ain't had no earthquakes last 15, 20 years, hardly. Every time you, when, uh, earthquakes have been on and off. Earthquakes is in the heart of the earth. We ain't had no earthquakes. You know why? But when hell needs to get a little bigger, there'd be a bad earthquake. <laughs> That's right. Earthquakes come from the heart of the earth, down where hell is. Whether you know it or not. Thank God, hallelujah. Strive to enter in that straight gate. Lay aside all them little no harm sins. Deny yourself every day. Put on the whole arm of God. You can't make it by yourself. He said, put on the whole arm of God that you might be able to withstand in the evil day. How many know this is evil day? You see so many people, it's, it's a shame. I, if I eat, I have to eat out. About 98% of the time and I'm home. I don't, but I don't be home much. And ever where we go, <clears throat> It is ungodly. You see women running around here, the little shorts on. You see men running around here with shorts on. It is an ungodly hour. And I'm telling you, I've been in over 200 countries, and it's happening all over the world. I just got back from out of the country. <clears throat> 
And I was shocked. I was shocked. The spirit is taking over. And the Bible said in the last days that, that, that we'd, we'd go through this. Perilous times. Dangerous time. Said they'd have a form of God, but they didn't have the power of God. Didn't you say that? The power. You, the church has lost the power. I said the church. People used to didn't... Uh, in the early days of holiness, before all this other stuff come in, there never was but one faith. The Bible said there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, Lord of all. But the devil popped up the Baptists, they popped up the Methodists, they popped up the, all these independent churches, and every one of them teaching something different. It's the truth and you know it. You know, and but but people ain't getting born again anymore. Bible said, you get born again, you become a new being. Sin leaves you. Oh, you'll be tempted, but you overcome temptation. God said you more than have power. God said I give you power over all wickedness, over all sin. And I don't believe we'd even be tempted if the devil and his angels had to put it up there. God let it happen to show the devil he do have people that don't sin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's got people that don't sin. I've heard people say, well, you sin more or less every day. Well, you better get yourself right. But if you sin more or less every day, it's piling up there. You don't sin more. If you're born again, you don't. If you're born of the water and the spirit, you don't sin no more, the Bible says. Ain't that right? Born of the, not the natural water, but the spirit of the, of the water of God. It washes all your sins away. It makes a new person out of you. I said it makes a new person out of you. It sanctifies you. It sets you aside of pure holiness and godliness. And when God begins to move, thank God, just your testimony, just living that godly life, it'll help others see it. And they begin to ask questions. You say, well, I'm a Christian. I'm born again. God changed me. Hallelujah. Thank God there ain't no two heavens. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a new heaven and a new earth. He said, that we got up there, the devil got in it. That's why he's up there right now preparing a new heaven because the devil and his angels and God had us throw a third of them out. But he's not going to put us in this new heaven. We're not going to get to be in that heaven where one third of it was devils at one time. He said, I'm going to prepare a new heaven and a new earth and we're in dwell nothing but full blooded righteousness, full blooded godliness, godliness, righteousness, and holiness without which no man shall see God, shall see Jesus. Is it in the scriptures? I said, is it in the scriptures? God said he go to books. There ain't but one book to books. We're going to be judged by the books. There ain't but one book out there called books. That's the Holy Bible. 66 books in the King James Bible. They said there's another one out there. It's almost equal to it, but the same thing. Let me tell you something. The Moffat translation. But I just studied the King James. Hallelujah. And God said them books is going to be our judges. There ain't no books out there but the Bible books. The books. Well, you know ain't no 66 books going to be open. Judgment. God put them right in here. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes, that's what me and you going to have to live by. That's what the Bible said you're going to be judged by what? The books. Huh? The books. What? The books. That means with the S on it, 
That means more than one, a whole lot. Six to six. Six to six book, King James Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise Him. Glory. These words Jesus spoke, lift up His eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may be glorified you of thee. As you have given him power over all flesh, that he through should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. This is life eternal, that they might know the these, the only true God, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom I have sent. I was reading, God sent Jesus. The Bible said he was with the Father at the, before the foundation of the world. And he was willing. Only man Bob ever lived that never sinned. If you, it, because the Bible said we all have sinned but him you know that's in the scripture you said well I had not well you'd be lying if you did glorify thy be on the earth and have finished the work which you have given me him to do, otherwise Jesus had finished, he said, to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify you, thy me with the glory that I had with you before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Jesus knew he was dying, <clears throat> and he knew he was with his Father, but he lived the life. He made it. I said, which he had, before the foundation of the world, I have I have manifest your name unto men which you've given me and out of the world thine or they were thy or uh, you given them me and they have kept thy word or your word they have known that all things whatever those has given me are of you, of thee. For I have given unto them the words which you give me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from you, of thee, and they have believed that you did send me. Thank God. Don't you believe God sent Jesus was with him before the world? And God sent him here to help me and you. Why can't we push him? Why have we got all these damnable doctrines outside? They won't save you. They for one name under heaven that will save anybody. And that's Jesus Christ. All power is given to him. He's the door. Go ahead and stay what you want to stay. You're going to find out one day you're going to stand before that white throne judgment. And you're going to give an account just like I will of everything you've done here on earth. And if the blood of Jesus hadn't cleaned you, you're going to go down yonder. Hell is enlarging itself. You watch it. I told them before them great earthquakes, I had a vision they going to, that hell was fixing to enlarge in itself when I had all them earthquakes some years ago. Well, the fiction happens been now about 25 or 30 years or more since we had any bad earthquakes. 
but they're fixing to hit us again. Why? Hell is fixing to get bigger again. Hell is fixing to enlarge itself. That's where everybody's going to be. When this world is over, it's going to be nothing but a lake of fire. This whole earth is going to be a lake of fire. And hell and all the people that, that don't live for God and countable, they're going to be cast alive into that hell, fire and brimstone. The only hope is to come out of the world. Get the world out of you. Lay aside all your weights. Quit trying to run around here. Justify yourself. Quit trying to run around here. If you can sleep, you can quit smoking. Do you sleep eight hours and not want a cigarette? You can stay awake eight hours and not want a cigarette. Do you sleep eight or nine hours and not want a bottle of whiskey? You can stay awake six, eight hours and not want a bottle of whiskey. You know what it is? It's what you want. But don't tell you that. But when Jesus judges you, he's going to judge you by the Bible. He said the books is going to be open and God's going to judge. There ain't but one book out there called books and that's these 66 books and he's going to judge us by the books and if you don't lay these things down, you're going to go to hell because they ain't going to, this new heaven that they're preparing for, there ain't going to be no wrong up there, no sin up there. Thank God, hallelujah, we're going to be transferred. Thank God, transformed. There ain't going to be no devils there because the devil at that time when this world in the Bible said the devil and his angels are going to be cast into the lake of fire with the rest of them, didn't he say it? That's the the devil is trying to put God out of business now thinking he can stop it, but he can't stop it. He don't have a stopper big enough. God got more power in little hands than the devil has all over. You better get your mind on God. You better put your faith in God. You better quit playing with the devil. You believe that? Yes, I believe that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Get back to Jesus. Uh, we've got to come back to God. Amen. We've got to lay aside these and quit playing church. Put on the whole arm of God. That's the only way you can live free from sin. They put on the whole arm of God. Come out of that stuff. You can't float around with a woman. Not wind up in the bed with a few one of them kind of devils, men. You women can't flirt around with a man and not go to bed with him if you want them kind of woman. Quit flirting with the devil and you get out of the devil. Quit playing around the devil and you'll find the devil to quit hanging around you. Go ahead. I said hallelujah and you'll be more than a conqueror. God said you're more than a conqueror. I give you power over all sin. I give you power over the devil yes, sir. to resist him. You believe that? Yes, sir, I believe it. Yes, sir. I'm more than a conqueror. Yes, Jesus, I believe it. Yes. That's good. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm a believer. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God he said, if you're going to come out to me, first thing you do is deny yourself. Get that cross of Jesus spiritually on your back, on your shoulder, and stop following Jesus. And pretty soon the devils will run hot places. When they see you coming, they'll get out of your path. They're going to look for somebody else to try to get them. Oh, hallelujah. God gives you power over what? The Bible said he gives you power over what? All sin. All sin and who? The devil. We got more power than the devil. We got power over the devil. He said resist the devil and he'll run. He'll flee from you. Hallelujah. As you have given him all power. Talking about Jesus. All power. Over all flesh. 
that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. This is life eternal that they might know thee or you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Oh, ain't that beautiful. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care. People say, well, you read it too much. Well, because you don't read it at all. 